All right, so here we go. Losers final between Pelka and BJ. BJ gonna be playing Wolf. Not even gonna mess with trying to play Ganondorf up against Snake. I certainly can't blame him. He's gotta play Wolf a little better than his previous showing though. Throw into the up airs, Pelka taking some significant damage there. He's gonna bring things back under control. Gets that Nikita. BJ actually dropping his reflector. He must have thought he was going to be safe from that. That or I'm crazy. And that explosion hits from that far away, reflector or not. Okay. Hanging on to this first stock, looking for some extra credit here. He's at 120%, and nice back throw into his own grenade by BJ. Alka right now getting so much extra credit. BJ already up above 75% here on the second stock. Pelka sitting pretty up 3-2, 168%. DJ, nice job reflecting that mortar. But not so nice of a job trying to find this kill. It does get destroyed by that Nikita there. DJ down to his final stock. Pelka still living here. Up three stocks to one now, finally. BJ does find a kill. It's probably too little too late for this first game. Helka with such a comfortable lead right now. Seitzel coming up from Pelka, keeping BJ at bay. Ooh, BJ missing the ledge there, and Pelka going to take a pretty convincing game one victory. So game number two, Pelka up 1-0 right now over BJ. BJ sticking with Wolf. 
probably the wise choice. I don't think Ganondorf would really get him anywhere. Maybe as a desperation pick. Try and take a little more advantage of landing theirs. Of course, that's not going to solve all of his problems. It's got a nice little string there. Unfortunately, it has to drop it due to eating a grenade to the face. Remember, kids, Snake says grenades are part of a well balanced breakfast. with lots of iron. DJ still holding on to his first stock, but he's at 130. That down throw gets interrupted by a grenade. Helka maybe outplaying himself with his own 4D chess. Reflect from DJ, but he's not going to be able to make it back to the ledge. He goes straight up instead of diagonal with his recovery. Couldn't make it, but Pelkins at 106, so maybe BJ can get a nice reset here. Good laser. He's got to find more than the laser to pick up a kill as Wolf. This is a good damage tool. It's certainly useless for killing people. Back air. Not quite enough to take Pelka down. Ooh, actually, he ends up dying anyways. I thought maybe he had a C4 in his pocket ready to drop and recover with, but that air dodge ends up being a mistake. Still BJ 73% already on the second stock. Pelka still well in control of this game. Sufficient for this up tilt. Oh, nice job. Pelka uses the down throw. And then instead of acting, he knows BJ is going to roll. And he reads the direction and just chases him down for up till out of dash. Very, very smart play coming out from Pelka. With the big brain. This time his air dodge to the ledge is successful. Taking advantage of Wolf's laser a little more. He gets Pelka up over 100% on that second stock, but again, laser useless for finding kills. <coughs> BJ has to be more aggressive. Unfortunately, Pelka is trained to deal with that aggression, and he does now take a commanding 2 0 lead in the series. And Pelka desperately wants that rematch. He wants to prove himself against King Chris. Game three. They're gonna go 
battlefield. Palka not making a change. He has no reason to. But will BJ make the desperation play and go for Ganondorf? He's going to do it. He's going to swap off Wolf. And he's going to try and take down Pelka with one of the slowest characters in the game. And um, he's definitely capable of playing Ganondorf at a high level. But I don't know if he's going to be able to overcome the massive disadvantage. that this matchup presents. Although, he can kind of keep Pelka off balance. As long as he can approach uninterrupted, he can definitely be a thorn in Pelka's side. But uh, that's, that's the key, is approaching uninterrupted. And he did it to start the game. He does have Pelka at 78%, but uh, as soon as he starts getting juggled around, it's really game over for Ganondorf. Once you start a chain on Ganon, it's uh, it's pretty easy to keep it going. In most cases. Nice down throw into side tilt. Pelka pulling out the box, taunting his opponent. BJ can't get frustrated though. He definitely does have Pelka in a position where he can find a good reset here. He just has to play incredibly smart. Oh, nice job trying to go for the up smash out of shield. Doesn't quite work out for him though. Wizard's foot from BJ is able to take Pelka's first stock. A lot of extra credit in favor of Pelka though. Throw into up air. Making BJ over 100% now, and he's just getting bounced around. This is the big problem that Ganondorf faces. It's incredibly easy for Snake to control exactly where he's going to go. Don't throw into side tilt again. BJ surviving with good DI. Nice nair on the Nikita, but unfortunately. That Nikita can wrap back around, and BJ does go down to his final stock, potentially final stock of the tournament. Unless he can pull out a miracle here. Good up smash, out of shield. You're going to interrupt that side smash all day. Wizard's foot a little short. That forward air nearly ending BJ's hopes. He's here with a forward air of his own, but it's not enough to find the kill. Pelka still staying alive at 156%. can find a kill right now. Actually, Pelka going to give it to him on a silver platter. If BJ can pull this off, it would be absolutely insane. But he's still going to have to face potentially two more games after this one, even if he comes back here. And even just the grenades bumping him as they're being thrown out does damage. Great down air into up smash. Not quite enough though, Pelka too heavy, and C4 dropped from the skies above, does close out the loser's finals. Pelka with a convincing 3-0 sweep over GJ. He gave it his all, but in the end it wasn't enough, and Pelka will advance to take on King Chris in grand finals for that rematch.